Exam scare is easily the most common problem faced by students. This scare stems from stress, which in turn originates due to excessive demands and pressure from parents, teachers, peers, and society in general. If not tackled well in time, this stress can soon turn into depression, addictions, delinquency, and even suicidal tendencies. Students who are prone to getting stressed out need to seek help from the right people in order to identify the root cause of their stress and eliminate the same by way of effective communication, a healthy lifestyle, and positive attitude. Every student experiences exam stress, some less, others more. There are certain social factors that act as a catalyst for this stress and thereby place much more pressure on the already stressed students. They are teachers, parents, siblings, friends, or peers and society. On a different note, many eminent authorities and academicians are of the opinion that the entire society with its faulty education system, greed for money and power, and senseless cutthroat competition is responsible for wielding unwarranted pressure and stress on students, thereby killing their originality and celebration of life in general. More often than not, this competition is merely about elevating one's status and respect in the eyes of others and trying to trample those who are likely to move ahead in the race even without understanding the why or what of the matter and grossly misunderstanding the meaning of success, achievement and happiness. Staying aloof from friends, peers and relatives. Feeling irritable, jittery and moody. Suffering from excessive or no sleep. Lacking energy and interest to do any activity. Sweating more than usual. Increase in heart palpitations. Experiencing digestive system problems or feeling ill or sick. Forgetting very often and feeling confused. The most common reasons for suffering from examination blues are lack of rest, relaxation and refreshment, lack of time, pressure to fulfill expectations of parents and education system as a whole, difficult to meet deadlines, and excessive study material to be learned and recalled. An effort to meet these various challenges leads to experiencing sheer stress and anxiety, making it all the more difficult for students. However, with certain tactics, a student can deal much better with examination blues. These include positive attitude and approach, effective time management, clear goals and strategies, effective organization and meticulousness, and good planning and execution. Let us now hear what Mr. Kumar, the teacher, has to say about effectively avoiding or managing exam stress. Here are some simple practices you can adopt that will help in avoiding or managing stress during exams. Start preparing for exams from the start of the study year itself. Prepare a proper timetable allocating sufficient time between studies and play. If time permits, write down what you learn. This not only helps you to remember the learned material better, but also improves your handwriting and writing speed. Revise and try to recall what you have studied on a regular basis. Avoid overloading your mind with extra learning material. Aim high but have achievable goals and deadlines. Study hard but study smarter. Do not put off your doubts. Clarify them then and there with your teacher. Scheduling can help you plan your time and tasks efficiently and effectively. The main scheduling devices can be considered to be planners, timetables and checklists. Syllabus Planner allows you to plan, 
or map out tasks for the entire year or semester. This will include all study times, the subjects to be studied, homework and assignment deadlines, family and social appointments to be kept, test and exam dates, and such. Weekly timetable allows you to manage time better and be aware of the tasks to be undertaken. This will include details of study-related work, classes and tutorials to be attended, personal and household chores, leisure and relaxation slot, and such. Day-to-day -day checklist allows you to take up and complete the tasks without fail and thus keep you on track with the timetable and syllabus. These checklists can be maintained inside a diary. They can be checked, updated, and new lists have to be prepared for the next day.